Hi, I'm Kristen Burt for Red Carpet Report, and we're in downtown LA today at the Fashion Institute for the opening of the Television Costume Design Exhibit. Congratulations on your Thank nomination. You. Thank you. I'm very excited. This is your first Emmy nomination, yes, isn't it? it is. Yes, it is. I'm very excited. I'm so excited. It's my big TV debut, and oh, this is very exciting. I don't even know what to say. Well, you've done incredible work in film, been nominated for Oscars. Um, what? How was the transition from film to television different for you? Oh, my God. <laughs> I've always um, admired costume designers that do television because I know the time frame is smaller and and sometimes it's hard to you know be creative in that span of time so now I got to actually feel that and uh, it was it was as if you had to I had to go to a different place mm -hmm. you know than film and it was it really actually made me better in film it's 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 really inspired me to move a little faster mm -hmm. and make decisions a little faster and just believe in myself as opposed to doubting myself. Like I will like, oh, maybe let me think about that. Now it's just like, I like it, let's do it. <laughs> trust your instincts, yeah, it's so, a great lesson. Exactly, I trust my instincts a lot more after doing this this um, series. Yeah, and it, it is the pressure of like, hey, time, we have to have this, we've got, yeah. the, we've got to start filming the episode. What inspired you for this season of Westworld that you're nominated for? Oh my gosh, well this is, you know, basically a bunch of mini movies anyway. <laughs> Um, the inspiration for this episode, it, it was uh, really based on Westworld itself, just to mirror the Mariposa or the saloon, you know, and make sure I'm using the same color palette as has been used in the show before, since the storyline is, is almost the same as the storyline in the saloon stories. When you're given a very specific color palette, do you feel like that narrows your choices or it gives you more information? It absolutely narrows our choices. <laughs> <laughs> the truth, thank you. But you know, you know, if you can stick it, <laughs> it will it will be amazing, and it will help the story. And you know, in terms of doing television um, over film, what was the besides you know make you strong, strengthening your work? What is the other thing that you totally surprised you because you were expecting the time constraints and things like that? Yeah. Well, what I really uh, appreciated. It was the fact that all the departments constantly were in communication, which doesn't always happen. But on this show, we were constantly like, you know, hey, we were, this is going to happen for us, so this means that for you. You know, everyone really wanted to make sure all the work was 100%. So communication was so open and easy with props and sets and special effects, visual effects. Everyone was making sure that we did the best job we could. It's all about teamwork, isn't yeah. it? It was a great, it was a great experience in teamwork. Yeah. Well, I'm a big fan of Dream Girls and your work <laughs> there, so I am rooting for Thank you. you. Yes, yes. That was here, was over there. <laughs> Gosh, the costumes for that. Come oh, on. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so let me just say, wishing you the best this oh. Emmy season. Congratulations. Thank you. you thank bet. you very much. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and in the comments below, let us know what television show you think is best dressed.